The evacuation of the residents of the Krasnoyarsky district of the Belgorod region has started since the morning of today. The governor of Belgorod region Vyacheslav Gladkov wrote the information on the Telegram channel. The enemy has become active on the border with Krasnoyarsk region. We are starting to move people living in Krasnoyarsk district to safe places to protect the lives and health of the population, he said. Gladkov did not specify how many people will be evacuated and where they will be taken. I am sure that our servicemen will do everything to cope with the threat that has arisen, Gladkov said. Some 11,000 people have been evacuated from the Krasnoyarsky district in Russia's Belgorod region due to activity by Ukrainian forces, a Russian official has said. District administration head Andrei Miskov said on the VK social media platform that residents left on buses headed for temporary accommodation, around 500 residents remain, he said. Krasnoyarsky district is located about 45 kilometers from the city of Sudza in the neighboring Kursk region, where the Ukrainian military entered on August 6. It is adjacent to the border of Ukraine on the western side, and Belovsky district of the Kursk region on the northern side. About the situation in the Belovsky district, the regional command center has decided to evacuate residents, Kursk Governor Alexei Smirnov said on social media, referring to an area with a population of over 14,000 people. The audacious Ukrainian attacks on Russian sovereign territory are aimed at showing its Western supporters that Kyiv can still muster major military operations while trying to gain a bargaining chip ahead of possible ceasefire talks. The Kursk incursion undermines Russian ruler Vladimir Putin's authority and could strengthen Ukraine's position, Bloomberg reports. The incursion of up to 1,000 Ukrainian troops into Russia's Kursk region, now in its third day, has caught the Russian military off guard. It is the first instance of a foreign army penetrating Russian territory since World War II. On August the 7th, Putin called an emergency meeting with his military and security service chiefs for an explanation. Angered Russian military bloggers have criticized senior officials for gross incompetence. European gas prices have surged following reports of fighting near a crucial Russian station on the last remaining pipeline route to Europe through Ukraine. Despite this, gas supplies continue to flow. Ukraine has not yet disclosed details about the operation or its goals. Speculation includes theories that the incursion could be aimed at seizing territory for future negotiations with Moscow or serving as a diversion to relieve pressure on Ukrainian defenses by drawing Russian forces away from the front line. The White House stated it would seek a better understanding from Kyiv, noting that Ukraine has not violated U.S. regulations regarding the use of American-supplied weapons inside Russia. The incident has highlighted the vulnerability of Russian border defenses, mainly as more Russian soldiers are engaged in Ukraine. It has also bolstered Ukrainian morale. The incident has also undermined the Kremlin's carefully crafted image of Putin as the defender of ordinary Russians. Instead, the war he started in Ukraine has increasingly flown into Russia, with people in border regions facing constant threats from shelling and drone strikes targeting critical industrial sites. For Ukraine, this situation strengthens its argument that the US and European allies should not be intimidated by Kremlin threats of escalation and should support Ukraine's efforts to confront Putin in any way necessary to expedite the end of the conflict. Lieutenant Colonel Janek Keselman, Deputy Commander of the Estonian Defense Forces Intelligence Center believes that the military operations in Russia's Kursk Oblast will likely force Russia to redeploy its troops. Kesselman noted that Russian forces were likely unprepared for the Ukrainian operations in the region with the attack catching them off guard. He also noted that based on open data, Ukrainian troops had advanced about 15 kilometers from the border into Kursk Oblast. It is possible that the second line of Russian defense in the region has been partially breached. The offensive of Ukrainian troops in the Kursk area is likely to lead to the redeployment of Russian Federation units from other areas to ensure the defense of Russian units and counter-attacks against Ukrainian forces in the region, Kesselman said.